you have Bill Gates and all these other people going up and buying land. They're turning these homes, these mortgage, these homes that just get built into like giant expensive rental projects. If a wealthy person can buy, can literally purchase people's freedom, what do we do about that? Because that's, that's not just my a concern for me, that's a concern for every young person here who wants the same future that my parents and everyone else before them did. Yeah, so this is, a, this is an important question. Thank you, though. And we share that history. My family's been here since 1620, and I'm a son of the American Revolution, so our, our ancestors were fighting alongside. Um, and I want to make one point on that, because I think it's important um, how we talk about the American Revolution, um, because it's sometimes misunderstood. So, yeah, first, again, I, I'm sort of a, you know, a radical with this. I think Idaho should say that Bill Gates should not be able to buy up swaths, swaths of farmland to do what he wants in the state of Idaho. And I know that some people say that's not a conservative free market position. Yeah, Bill, Bill Gates is an imperialist. He doesn't want what's best for Idaho. Him buying up hundreds of thousands of acres is for some malevolent purpose. He did that here, right? Was it here or Missouri? Yeah, it was here, okay. It was, it was here. I know, I read it was somewhere in the Northwest. And yeah, the legislature could and should block it. Like, go buy a bunch of land somewhere else. Um, and look, this, this goes to show, this is why Idaho and Montana and Wyoming are going to be the places where the rubber really hits the road. Land is going to be the new currency, everybody, I'm telling you. With inflation that's coming through, if you own something that can produce, if you own livestock, if you own something that has objective value and you own a lot of it, then you are going to be the richest people. Idaho has a lot of land and a lot of decent people and a lot of producing land. And that's why all of a sudden you see the oligarchs all coming into these states trying to buy up your land. And I know it's tempting. You get five times cash offer to go sell your family farm. I know it's tempting. I get it. But understand, there's a deeper game at play. Where are you going to go? You're going to go buy some condo in Denver because of that, right? So let me get this straight. You're going to give up your strategic advantage to give up what Bill Gates wants. So you could go into the urban area while he goes into the rural. He knows what's coming next. He knows that there's going to be disorder and chaos, and he wants something that's objectively valuable. So what can we do about it? The legislature needs to take a stand against it and say that it's not a conservative value to come in when you're worth $135 billion to go buy up family farms and swaths of land to then use that against you and make you guys permanent renters when your ancestors and the people that lived here and, and sacrificed when there was no heating right, in Idaho, all of a sudden that we now have to live under the tyranny of some Microsoft creep globalist that wants to come in and make you you know, some sort of permanent renter. Like, we shouldn't tolerate that. It's not right. So, all right, thank you. And yeah, I mean, if you look at, you look at the Great Reset, the promises from the World Economic Forum, they said by 2030, you'll own nothing and you'll be happier than ever. And Idaho stands in the way of that. And so just understand the big game that's at, that's at play here. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.